everybody. Today I want to show you guys one of my tips for um, general health, um, stress on the body, and um, detox, and for uh, also some minerals. This also is great for your adrenal glands and your thyroid. Um, <clears throat> so I found out about Celtic sea salt, I want to say like um, over six years ago. And I found out how good it is for the adrenal glands. I realized, oh, I'm having some problems with my adrenal glands where um, I just feel like anxious on edge all the time. My adrenal glands, you know, that feeling in your, your when your adrenaline's going, that kind of feeling where you just don't feel well. And um, I've had issues with my thyroid uh, where, you know, um, just being unbalanced, um, where I just know like within like, okay, something's not right. I can't lose weight. Why can't I lose weight? You know, like, so this here, um, balances your thyroid. It also will balance if you have hyperthyroidism as well. Um, so this is just so good. Look up Soleil. Um, and yeah, and you can make it with all different kinds of salt. You can use Himalayan sea salt, Maldon salt, Celtic sea salt, um, as long as it's a natural salt. Um, and it's great. It's really good and beneficial. I found out that my sodium was low also a few years ago and I have chronically low sodium. I don't really eat much salt. I don't, I drink a lot of water and, um, I realized that, oh, okay. So when I'm drinking a lot of water, I got to have salt for all the water that I'm drinking. You got to add a little salt to it. So if you are drinking a lot of water like I do and you get headaches, if you feel nauseous, if you feel leg cramps, know that this water that you're drinking, a lot of the water could be lowering your sodium because you aren't adding the salt to the water that you that your body needs. All this water, when you keep drinking all this water, you're diluting your system, you're diluting all of your salt out of your body. So that's one thing that I had to learn that I really, really had to learn. So one thing that I like to do is I like to take this after a workout as well. I'm going to show you guys how I make it. So here is my bottle. And you know what? This is actually just a bottle from, um, you know, like, a any kind of drink you get at the store, like a glass bottle, you know, you could just reuse those. This is what this is. I think it was a apple cider vinegar drink or something like that. Yeah. I think that's what it was. One of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar drinks. So I saved that bottle. Okay. So then what you do is you'll take your, your bottle or your jar. You could also use a jar, but just know that the salt, um, will start to eat away at metal of, of whatever jar that you have. So be careful with that. Okay, so as you can see at the bottom of this, I have my Soleil. So you can see the light gray Celtic salt there at the bottom. So what I did was when I made this, I took my Celtic sea salt, okay, and then I filled it up halfway in the bottle. So that's what you want to do. You want to fill it up halfway or, you know, at least just up to about here in the bottle. You want to at least have like half the jar with the salt and then add the rest water. Now for the water that I used, I wanted to use a really good quality water. So I used um, the spring water, like alkaline spring water, like a more, so if you could get a really good quality water when you make this, that is a great idea. That is awesome. That'll make it really good. So each day what I do is I will wake up in the morning and you want to do this on an empty stomach and you can also do it at night as well. So I'm going to get the bottle opened. So I have my bottle opened. Here is my teaspoon of Soleil. So I'm going to add a teaspoon to this water. Okay, so now with the daily dose and everything, now when you start out, that's how I would start out if you're just starting this and you have never tried it. Start off with one teaspoon in your water in the morning. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna get up to one tablespoon a day of this is what you can. You can work your way up to one tablespoon. Um, so yeah, so even if you wanna go ahead and just add a tablespoon on the first try, if your sodium, if you feel it's very low and you need to, it's all based on your personal sodium levels and your personal preference, your personal you know, detoxification of what you're trying to you know, do for your body. You can also take this and you can add the one teaspoon, take a mug of warm water and add the one teaspoon of that and then uh, some lemon juice and warm it in the microwave. And that warm drink really will get your adrenal glands balanced. It'll really take the stress off of them and start to reverse the damage that 
has been done through all the stress, all the, you know, when you, when you're under high stress and you're working so much, not getting sleep good, drinking coffee, all those kinds of things. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this today. This is my weight loss. This is how I lose weight. It helps me to lose weight. It helps me through my workouts. It's really, it's a natural way to replenish your electrolytes when you have sweated a lot. It's good if you're sick. It's good um, for so many different things. Now to close up this video, I am going to say that my personal opinion on Himalayan salt is that it is not edible. I'm gonna be purely honest that my that's my personal opinion. Um, Himalayan salt, I personally believe that it is built, it, it, it's more of a rock and it's more for building Himalayan salt lamps and other kinds of things with Himalayan salt. But in my personal opinion, I don't find it to be edible because I'm going to be honest that every time that I have made a Himalayan salt sole or have ate Himalayan salt in my food, I've noticed that I have not felt well at all. That's why I find sea salt to be the real natural. I will only make this with sea salt and Maldon and Maldon salt because those are from the sea. Himalayan salt grows in caves and it is personally more of a rock as well as uh, you have to know that salt is rocks. Like for instance, these are rocks as well, but they're more, they're, they're edible. Now Himalayan salt, I find that to not be edible completely like I just I, I don't I, it makes me sick I don't know what it does but it makes me sick in some kind of way but hey don't don't go on my opinion if Emily insult if you like it if it helps you hey that's okay you know certain things react with different people it's all about your body about your body chemistry so that's just my personal opinion on Emily insult so um thank you guys so much for watching this video please let me know if you try this if it helps you if you you feel a difference for me when I'm really stressed out and I really get this feeling in my stomach Stomach, that really stomach stress that you get when you're stressed out this right away taking this you will feel just like something has been lifted off of your stomach that you, the relief that you will feel from the stress within your body and within your adrenal glands the relief in your adrenal glands and your thyroid will thank you so much so Here's my remedy if you have any adrenal problems, if you have hyper or hypothyroidism, if you're having trouble losing weight, if you need to detox and to replenish electrolytes and for all of those minerals. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and go get on my bike ride. So I'm bringing this with me for my bike ride so I could go ahead and keep my sodium levels well and keep things good. Um, yeah, so sodium is a number one mineral that we need. Always remember that. Like, that's one thing that I had to realize. Like, because I always was like, hey, salt, you know, we're taught salt is so bad, but we really do need it. We really do. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your comments. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.